I want to repeat a story I told this same week, two years ago. I titled it Hunger Games then, but today it's called I Don't Care. Story Story Once upon a time, there was a mouse that lived with a farmer and his wife. One day, the mouse looked through the crack in the wall to see the farmer and his wife open a package. What food might this contain? The mouse wondered. He was devastated to discover it was a mouse trap. Retreating to the farmyard, the mouse proclaimed the warning, there's a mouse trap in the house. There's a mouse trap in the house. The chicken clucked and scratched, raised her head and said, Mr. Mouse, I can tell this is a grave concern to you, but it's of no consequence to me. I cannot be bothered by it. The mouse turned to the goat and told him there's a mouse trap in the house. There's a mouse trap in the house. The goat sympathized but said, I'm so very sorry, Mr. Mouse. There's nothing I can do about it but pray. Be assured you are in my prayers. The mouse turned to the cow and said, There's a mouse trap in the house. There's a mouse trap in the house. The cow said, Wow, Mr. Mouse, I'm sorry for you, but it's none of my concern. So the mouse returned to the house, head down dejected to face the farmer's mousetrap alone. That very night, a sound was heard throughout the house, like the sound of a mousetrap catching its prey. The farmer's wife rushed to see what was caught. In the darkness, she did not see it was a venomous snake whose tail the trap had caught. The snake bit the farmer's wife. The farmer rushed her to the hospital and she returned home with a fever. Everyone knows you treat a fever with fresh chicken soup. So the farmer took his machete to the farmyard for the soup's main ingredient. But his wife's sickness continued, so friends and neighbors came to sit with her around the clock. To feed them, the farmer butchered the goat. The farmer's wife did not get well. She died. So many people came for her funeral. The farmer had the cow slaughtered to provide enough meat for all of them. The mouse looked upon it all from his crack on the wall with great sadness. The fundamentals in our world and society, when I told this story two years ago, still exist, but at a greater scale. Nobody cares. We all look the other way saying it's not our problem. In the last 10 days, the death of the gospel artist Osinachi was trending. Everyone was blaming someone, but no one realized that it happened because nobody cared. Putin and his Russian troops are committing genocide in Ukraine, but it's not our problem. Right in our backyard, hundreds are being killed weekly, but nobody cares. The southeast of Nigeria has turned into a terror zone, but it's not our problem. INEX staff were killed there, but who cares? What of northern Nigeria? It doesn't matter, right? Please. When does it begin to matter? When will you start caring? Our world is getting worse because we don't care. We all believe the problem is not ours. You are very wrong. The way God created the human body as interconnected parts all working together for the good of the body. That's the same way we are all interconnected in this world working together for the betterment of humanity. When one part is suffering, we all suffer. The war in Ukraine is causing skyrocketing prices all over the world. The war in northern Nigeria has led to general insecurity in the whole nation and has plunged our economy into crisis. This is why you should care about what happens to your neighbor. Where are the Christians in the land? Why are churches full today and yet there's so much evil and injustice in our land? The VIO man who will mount patrol tomorrow morning to extort his fellow man is in church right now, praying for a profitable Monday. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. 
Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Are you truly the salt of the earth? How are you light in your world when there's so much darkness? Again, I ask, where are the Christians in the land? I was on a radio program with two other presidential aspirants yesterday when one of them whispered to me that he just feels like withdrawing from the race because of the overwhelming problems facing the nation compounded by an uncaring and desensitized populace who don't seem to care. I could relate to these sentiments. It's not your attending church every Sunday that makes you a Christian. It is what you do. What has to happen to make us care? Do men light a candle and put it under a bushel? No! Where is your conscience? Where is your light? Where is your love? Don't you know that God you carry on your inside is love? Love is light. Let your light so shine before men that they may glorify your Father in heaven. How can your light shine when you don't care? We must care. We must transition from I don't care to I don't care what happens to me, but I must care. I must do something, anything. Do something. Don't say you are a Christian and even you are in darkness. Your light must shine. Your conscience must be activated. You must broadcast love to your world. If you don't or can't, then you must question who you really are. Please, don't wait to be a chicken, goat or cow that was slaughtered before you wake up. Be a Christian today. Do something about your world. God bless you all.